Hello guys, welcome back. Now in this session, we are going to discuss about authorization. So whenever we are working with Microsoft 365 and to use the resources of Microsoft 365, we must be authorized. So what it means? It means that I have an appropriate permission to use that particular resource. So now the question over here is how I will get the appropriate permission. So let's look into that. So guys, I am into the graph explorer and over here to use the resources. First, I need to get authenticated. So first we have to understand what actually the difference between an authentication and authorization. So authentication related to who you are. So over here, if I will click on sign into the graph explorer, then it will ask me the credential. Over here, I provided my credential. I provided my passwords. So this way I get authenticated. So now I get authenticated. Now what I will do, I am going to execute some of the query against some of the resources in Microsoft 365. And let's look into that whether I am able to get the output or not. So for example, the better example is that I am going to use the Outlook mail. So I want to grab the mails from my Outlook. So let's try to execute it. Once you try to execute it, then you will see that it is throwing us 403 error. That means you need to consent to the permission of modify permission. So what it means that we need to authorize the graph API, pull the data from the resources. So the point over here is that you must have to give the right consent to use the resource. It is not like that if you get authenticated, you can use any of the resources. So now the question over here is, so how you will provide the consent within the graph explorer? So you need to come over here and you need to go up and over here you will find modify permission and within that you will get many options to provide your consent. So what kind of permissions you have? You are having mail read, mail read basic, mail read write. Suppose if you are writing any application and from that application you are performing the read write operation on your mailbox and over here you will get the consent button. You need to click on it. Once you click on it and over here you need to accept it. You need to click on this checkbox and then you need to tell accept. The moment you do accept that means it get consented. So that means it is being authorized. So now try to run it again. So let's go back, run query. And this time you will see that it has returned us 200 status. That means the query get executed successfully and it has returned us the response. As we are not having any data inside it, that's the reason we are not getting any value as my mailbox is not having any kind of a mail. So that's the reason you are seeing this array value is empty. So guys, it is very important point. Whenever you want to use any of the resources from the Microsoft 365 using Graph API, you must have to provide the appropriate permission to use that particular resource. And this is what I wanted to discuss in this session. See you in the next session where we can design our service layer logic inside SPE editor. So on this note, I am stopping over here. See you in the next session. Till then, bye-bye. Take care.